Good day and welcome to Island Stats Sports. I'm Earl Baston. 100 entrants representing 49 countries, including Bermuda, will compete in the 2015 Laser Radial Women's World Championships in Oman. Bermuda CC Women will go up against the best sailors in the world when the fleet begins a three-day qualifying stage, followed by a three-day finals with a reserve day in between. After finishing third in the Laser Radial South Americans in Brazil in the under-19 female division, Woman enters this event full of confidence. The top eight men return to Sam's Town Bowling Center in Las Vegas for the 51st Quebeca AMF Bowling World Cup's eight head-to-head -head matches in which the field was cut from 24. Bermuda's David Maycock was not one of the eight to advance. He was in the top 24 but finished 14th overall. Maycock was the top Caribbean finisher with a total pinfall of 6,613 pins at an average of 206.66. Gillian Tessera began her indoor season as she made the trip to Belgium to compete in the CSI 2 Winch International Jumping Competition. On day one, Tessera entered two events. Tessera finished 41st, competing in the 1.40 meter Table A in two phases class, riding Tamarino. The pair finished with a time of 60.25, and they had five penalty vote points. During the 1.30 meter Table A in two phases class, Tessera and Concept TM finished 10th. They clocked a clear round time of 28.99. Janeo Wade Freeze, Brixton Topcats might be 0-3 on the Women's British Basketball Association League season, but the Olympian is making noise around the league. Wade Free is currently ranked third in points per game with an average of 16.7 points. Two early second half tries paved the way for Brindley Toms and his Badwad teammates to inflict a first defeat in 10 games to cross keys. With wind swirling and in the second half very heavy rain, handling the ball was difficult for both sides who should be congratulated for trying to move the ball. The game started at a tremendous pace with both sides looking to lay down a marker. With Bedwaz leading 15-6, to six, Toms bulldozed through a pile of bodies for the third Bedwaz try and with the conversion added it moved the score to 22-6 to six, with some 53 minutes gone off the clock. Bedwaz was able to hang on for the win. Following the two first division matches played on Wednesday evening, Island Stats can now bring you the current standings and leading goal scorers in the first division. St. David remained the first division leaders. They have 13 points. Flanagan's Onions are in second with 11 points. Somerset Eagles moved up to tie third with Young Men's Social Club with 10 points. Clay Darrell from the Young Men's Social Club has been joined by... Nathan Rigo as the league leading top scorers. Rigo from Somerset Eagles, they both have seven. Henry Santucci from Island Rangers has four. Robert Rollins from the Young Man's Social Club. Ken I. Frey and his teammate Anwar Telford from Somerset Eagles, as well as St. David's pair, Shea Pitcher and Alan Douglas Jr. all have three goals on the season. I want to thank you for joining Island Stat Sports. I'm your host, Earl Bajden. Do enjoy your weekend.